everybody, my name's Rick Will Baggins, where I normally bring you gaming and streaming content. Today I thought I'd bring you along while I download a Bedrock Minecraft server. So let's search it for Bedrock Minecraft server. This is something you can download uh, for free and play along with your friends. Now today I'm going to be downloading this on my Rackable server. As you can see I'm in my remote desktop in my server but you can download this on to any PC uh, the one that you play on or even a spare PC and whenever this is running um, any family or friends can join your server so follow along and we'll show you how to uh, get this done so we'll save the file uh, after we've downloaded it this will appear in your downloads folder as you can see I've already downloaded it earlier on today I will extract all um, we are going to put this in my minecraft server so wherever you want to put that on your desktop in a, in a separate folder uh, call it whatever you want or we'll select that folder and extract now we'll take a couple of moments while this um, extracts all the folders into the fo into the folder we've just chosen so once that file has extracted all the content it will bring up um, the folder here with all the content in so what we want to do first of all is click on server now you may need to right click and open with and open with notepad and these are your server details so first of all we're just going to change the name uh, Rick Baggins server the next thing we're going to change is game mode well we want to keep this in survival but we've got creative and adventure should you wish to use those we're going to change the difficulty which is peaceful which is uh, no mods at all and obviously the difficulty of the mobs so we're going to change that to hard that way we can get some oh, mad hard there we are and it's lower case not sure if that's case sensitive um, we don't want cheats so we'll leave that as false um, I'm going to change that to 20 players but you can increase or reduce that as ever much you want to do so and we're going to leave this online mode is true um, whitelist is only if you wanting to have certain people come on which there's another file um, which is here and then you put the names of the players you'd like to have join your server um, otherwise anyone can join we're going to change the server port now I've already set up my server port to 42906 so to do port forwarding um, you will need to go on to your router best way to do this is by pressing windows key and R press CMD bring this up and it's IP config that will bring up not only the IP address of your computer which is what we will be using to connect to Minecraft ourselves. If you want friends and family outside of your house to connect, I'll explain how they would do, how you would get that information afterwards. Um, but this is the information that you need, which is the default gateway, which is 192.168.11.1. What we will do is we'll put that in here. Oop, as you can see, um, usually this would be zero. I've obviously changed my net sub network to 11, uh, but normally it's zero. But that's whatever the uh, default gateway here is that is where you want to then it will bring you to your router and then you get the admin and password log on and forward the port so I'm not going to explain how to do that because each router is different all you need to do is find what your router brand is and google search port forwarding and I'm sure there will be plenty of helpful videos so going back to the minecraft server um, that is all we need to change everything else we can leave um, as default I will take the player player idle time out as zero which will mean that they can be in there indefinitely otherwise after 30 minutes of inactivity they'll get kicked um, that is where you can change your, your level name if you do you need to change the name of the folder as well so I just recommend leaving that the same and uh, the default player permissions is member which is basically joining the game and being able to build um, obviously operator is another word for admin and visitor just means you can go around and you can't build anything but you can look 
so that could be helpful and then obviously you can always upgrade them to member um, should you wish to do so so now we've changed everything in there what we're going to do is just cross that off don't forget to press save and there is one more thing we need to do so you've done your port forwarding you've changed your server properties and the next thing is to do the windows firewall so if you just press start and press firewall and then go to windows firewall with advanced security we need to go to inbound right click new rule and we want to click it on program we want to then press browse and we want to navigate to the folder where you've just saved the server details so in my case it was this pc minecraft and bedrock so the .exe file we just press open on there and click next allow the connection and make sure all three of them are ticked we're just going to call this bedrock minecraft or mc and we're going to do the same for the outbound rule as well so we're going to need to right click new rule select the program browse select the .exe and click next and click allow the connection again for all three domain private and public networks and again call this bedrock my mc for minecraft and that's it that's the uh, firewall set up so we can just cross that off that is the download so you can delete that just to keep everything tidy should you wish to do so and double click on bedrock click on run so bedrock server application and this will little box will start as you can see we've got game mode survival difficulty hard and that's his port you can use the default port you can change it to a uh, whatever you want to I've got a, diff a few different ports forwarded you see so I've chose this one for the bedrock server so what we're going to do is we're going to minimize the server and we're going to open up minecraft bedrock edition click on play click on servers and then it should already be added in here but you would add my server and then obviously the details of your IP address and then the part you've done click save so you click this button to do that but as I say it's already on here and as you're connecting to external server it can take a couple of moments for the first time um, loading into the world So just alt tab in to double check the files are all correct and also turn in the uh, content log file I'm just enabling this um, just so I've got some uh, logs if there's any errors around throughout the server um, this is optional um, this does not need to be uh, As you can see, I have just joined the game, uh, Rickster570, which is my old account. Let me just go back to the game here. The connecting, oh, unable to connect. If that happens, don't worry, just go back to server and the details here, as you can see, 0 out of 20. So we are now load loaded in on our server or as minecraft column roams so this is my own server guys um, as you can see I can uh, get anyone else to join on the LAN with them details however if you want someone to join with your outside of your home what we need to do just gonna save and quit there is go to bring up in fact I'm just gonna bring it up on here bring up internet page and put what is my IP and you click on there and it will provide you your IP address and you would provide that to your friends using the same port and everyone will be able to join I'm not gonna load it up because I'm not going to uh, show you my IP address but that is it 
enjoy playing Minecraft on your own private server with you and your friends. As always, thanks for watching and happy gaming.